Hey, what's happening, guys? This is the uh, the newest of the Arduino boards. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. This is the R4 Uno R4 Wi-Fi. It has that new uh, Renaissance chip on it. What is the R? It's like R7 or something. Focus. Focus. There you go. R7FA4MI. Of course, it also has an ESP32. And this really nice LED matrix. So, I've been trying to find some new video to make on this and looking around the internet, trying different ideas. Most of them I find from like weather stations and stuff. You know, you can download the JSON files. Well, how about something a little, you know, I gotta put this in air quotes, a little hacky, like for a hacker. Like if you wanted to hack somebody, and I do not condone hacking, I'm simply kind of dream up an idea to make a video about. So, you're going to need to know um, the Wi-Fi address, the SSID. So, what I've created here is a simple little SSID scanner. Let me show you how it works. I got a piece of wax paper to put on here. just acts as a diffuser so you can see the LEDs better. And I'm going to shut the light off. Now, when I plug this in, you're going to see a little graphic here. It's an asterisk line and an asterisk while it is connecting to, well, not connecting, but scanning all of the Wi-Fi networks in its range, and then it is going to report back the strongest one. Takes a few seconds while well, it scans all the networks in range, and once it does that, it will report back the strongest one, and it will recheck it every 10 seconds. There you go. TP-Link 712C, which just happens to be the SSID of my Honey Trap router here in the house. But like I said, it's super simple. And it did not take me, I don't know why that C hangs around there afterwards. So, something in my code, you know I'm not a programmer, I'm a hardware guy. Something in my code's making that C hang around. I'm not exactly sure. But let me, uh, let me show you the code and show you how it works, because honestly you're not going to believe how stupid simple this is. Alright. Okay. So here's how I put this program together. Little info up here. I called this the Arduino Uno R4 Wi Fi network scanner by Learn Electronic, blah, blah, blah. And this is based on code written, I think, originally by Tom Igo and James Deck, and then modified by DLF, maybe, or created by DLF in 2010, maybe that's it, and modified by Tom Igo and James Deck in 2012. Well, it's been modified by me in February 2024. So to begin, we're going to need three libraries. We need the Arduino graphics library. And what that does is allows us to convert our uh, text characters into graphics characters to display on the matrix. And to go with that, of course, you know, we are also going to need the matrix. And since we're using Wi-Fi on the ESP32, we're going to need Wi-Fi S3 because that's the Wi-Fi 32 S3 board. Then we're need, going to need to initialize the matrix, Arduino matrix, and it's called matrix. Then we have setup. We're just opening up a serial port. I always like to have serial ports open. They help us debug things, let you see what's going on. We're going to start up the screen. We're going to do a draw. Pardon me. Uh, what is that? Matrix. Oh, that's a line. Okay. So then we're going to add some text in a font called 4x6. Is going to begin at point at 0 0.1 in that color, which I believe, I don't know, probably black or white, one of the two. And we're going to print text. There's our, where do I have a text? I'm right here. Here's our text, constant character text. That is the uh, asterisk line, asterisk. And then we have the end text. Then we draw the matrix. And that puts whatever we set up here, this line here, puts it onto the matrix when we do that. Then we move on and we look for if there's the serial module. We say Wi-Fi status. If it is equal to 
WL no module, that means it's not working. Then we connect and check the firmware version. Very simple. Here's our main program. This is not necessary. I forgot to delete that. That was a test variable I had created earlier. So, this is all scanning the networks right here. And it comes from an example that you get when you download the Arduino Uno R4. And that one is under Wi-Fi S3 and it is called Scan Networks. So there you go. That is the code there. And the way it works, and I can just show you right down here because it is also going on down here in my serial monitor. You can see right here I'm highlighting. Every 10 seconds it will display what your MAC address is, scan the available networks, and print them out. So what I did is I took that and I made one simple change, well, two simple changes pretty much. The first one I did was adding in the, uh, the matrix stuff that we talked about at the top. And then down here, I created this uh, character array, and I just filled it with a bunch of X's to start. And then we created a string called Gazinda, and Gazinda is a string based off the Wi-Fi SSD 0, which is the strongest signal that is being uh, picked up. Then we're going to take Gazinda, and we're going to turn it into a character array, called text that is 13 long. Um, I believe 12 uh, characters is the limit for the Wi-Fi name. And your array has to be one larger so it can hold the null character. Then we have matrix begin draw. We have that stroke again. And then we're going to have a scroll this time. So you see we have a scroll speed 50. Then we're going to add the text into a font size 5 by 7. We're going to start at 0, 1 again with whatever that is, all black, all white. And we're going to matrix print the text right there. And that text is what we created here from the Wi-Fi SSID. So we grab the Wi-Fi SSID, we turn it into a character array, and we print the character array onto the LED matrix. And that's it. This little bit of text here. is really all I did to modify that program other you know than adding the the library names that we needed to use up top so so that's it that is my little program I call it the slipper why do I call it the slipper well because I was looking at the flipper zero and this is definitely not a flipper I mean you can't manipulate anything it just simply shows you a network name so I thought hmm what could I use instead of flipper slipper so this is the slipper I don't know. I don't know why you'd want it or need it, but it does kind of just demonstrate the simple power of this new Arduino R4 is able to scan networks and give you the name. Like, I can put other information in here. I can put the signal strength and all that stuff. And it's all on this board. Not a single external component is necessary for this. Now, I think that's pretty cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to all the patrons. And a big thanks to you guys for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. Hey, if you're not a patron, check down below. There's a link. You can become one and help support the channel. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.